How are you currently feeling? Are you taking deep breaths? Let's make it better with this essential video, which will delight your inner being. And we're here to help. Most people are harder on themselves than everybody else all put together because you've been trained that way by people who looked at you with disappointment because you didn't make their world complete. In other words, so many people you've been bumping up against have been looking for love in all the wrong places. And over time it wears you down as you are unable to be that impossible thing that they're asking you to be. That's, that really is a perfect answer but very hard to hear sometimes in other words you've trained yourself away from caring about your alignment and into caring about their approval of where you're at so when you find yourself having a hard time appreciating yourself we say it doesn't matter what the object of your love or appreciation is it only matters that you have one and sometimes the easiest thing to do is to start with something easy you see we we can stand here and say that's just ridiculous that you wouldn't love you but that doesn't help we can stand here and say it's so easy for us to love you but that doesn't really help we could even tell you all of the reasons that we love you but you know what's interesting about that we don't love you because you're wonderful we love you because we love now is that painful some people say oh well Abraham loves everybody <laughs> no big whoopee when they love you <laughs> they love everybody <laughs> but that's what we want you to come to in other words we but it's natural to love and we are so accustomed to to the fullness of who we are that when we see you oh there is a plethora of things that we get to enjoy because that's what our vibrational bent is so it's so easy to see you see so we don't ask you to behave this way and this way we don't say be lovable so we can love you we say we love you be however you choose to be our love for you is not dependent upon your behavior our love for you is unconditional and that's the way we want you to be we want you to experience the deliciousness and the naturalness of loving in spite of what's going on you see that's why so many people think that they need to control so many things because when I look at that I feel love when I look at that I don't so we need to wrestle that to the ground and kill it because I might see it again and it might force me to not feel love which doesn't feel good so we need to eradicate that we need to wipe that off the face of the earth so that I never have to feel this way again because I have no ability to focus over there as long as that exists mm -hmm. <laughs> say. so that's what we're, we're saying the same thing to you you just have to decide how you want to feel and then just start with easy things until you get the hang of it people have trained each other people have trained you they've said they've said to you if you behave in this way I will love you and so you just knocked yourself out being lovable just knocked yourself out being lovable but you but you didn't weren't knocking yourself out being in alignment so you never felt the love that you thought you were eliciting from others that's why it's so confusing you see it's really lovely when someone loves you and holds you as their object of attention and just showers their love it feels really really good but now you are immediately dependent upon them and their focus over which you have no control and before you know it you and they are in bondage forgiveness is withdrawing attention from the thing that's keeping you out of the vortex mm -hmm. that's all forgiveness is it's turning your attention to something that puts you in the vortex instead of towards something that keeps you out of the vortex so forgiveness is just returning to your vortex that's all it is it's it's being who you really are right so really the key is to think in terms of what you are presenting not what is being presented to you if you want someone to love you you are looking for love in all the wrong places if you want to find objects of attention to love now you're really on to something because there are so many we want it to be easy for you to expect wonderful things to happen to you we want you to be so in tune with the source within you who adores you unequivocally and with without 
any strings attached just loves you because you are there to be loved and you are lovable and you are a viable part of the source energy itself that is love you are love you are loved you are love you are loved as you practice the feeling of that you'll relax into a, a feeling of well-being that cannot come from any other places that thing you were describing and it's a love beyond someone who is physically focused shining their love on you in other words someone could be physically focused and get themselves all geared up to give you the undivided attention of their love and as it's being showered around you there has to be a conscious recognition that this can't continue because I cannot continue to be your only object of attention so just your rational mind in and of itself says this feels so good and I don't ever want it to stop but I know it will because no one can hold you as their object of attention in that way no other physical being can do that and that's why we say looking for love in all the wrong places you don't want to count on that kind of love it's nice when it comes but it's not where you're reaching for your resources it's not where you're what you're reaching for you're reaching for alignment with the fullness of all that you are that will never let you down when you feel like you've lost something you've really gained something but it but the reason it feels like loss to you is because you're not in the vibrational vicinity of what you've gained what you Nothing. really want is vibrational alignment with who you really are which is love and the some ones are really just excuses you use for alignment <sighs> They're also the some ones you use as excuses for not alignment. <laughs> when they're there and behaving, you use them for the excuse for alignment. When they're gone and therefore misbehaving, you use them as your excuse for misalignment. But now you're so much wiser. <laughs> Going general can be a permanent solution because as you go general often enough on enough things, you will find resonance with this feeling of well-being that will cause you to then walk around with this this basic basis grid and then the question that you asked earlier how can I always be in a state of love will be something that you're experiencing more of the time more often in a state of love because this experience caused me to go general and this experience caused me to go general this experience that I could not control caused me to go general because I couldn't control it and if I wanted to feel good I had to go general because I couldn't control it this experience caused me to go general because I couldn't control it I had no choice if I was to feel better than to go general this one and this one and this one and this one this person this person this thought this memory this desire this experience I went general and general and general and general all day every day for a week or two or three I went general until I established a vibrational emotional grid that then began to carry me and I began announcing I'm feeling better more of the time the world is looking beautiful to me again I'm happy I'm having more fun and then and, and then once you begin acknowledging that emotional grid is more steady within you then the things that begin to fill it in we don't want you ever to to be wary of anything that's contrasting in your experience we don't want you to ever say I always want to only be in the vortex or I always want to only feel love we want you to say I know what to do I'm the molder of the clay I've come to experience the contrast and it's benefiting me dramatically and I know the direction that I'm going I know what to do I have guidance within me it's always on target I know exactly what to do if it feels good I'm more specific if it doesn't feel so good I go general and it works every single time and as you begin saying that and meaning that and knowing that then you don't say I always want to be in a state of love you say I really like some of the hateful things that happen to me that make me experience the value of love and with these things that I don't like I parlay what I do want into more heights what I do like into more heights and because I'm so clear of who I am and how I'm supposed to feel I'm able to find conscious deliberate resonance with that frequently so that my life just keeps getting better and better that's what you all said that's why you all came you didn't say we'll go forth feather our nest we'll just go forth into a happy little environment and just observe it you passionately came forth wanting variety to stimulate you to things that you don't have because you knew that you could not stand in a state of not having for very long you knew that there was nothing that this time space reality could inspire as a desire within you that you couldn't achieve and once you consciously get that and start moving toward it 
That feeling of invincibility and that feeling of worthiness will become so powerfully. That's, what, that's really what you're looking for. What you really want is that conscious awareness that no matter what, you can figure it out. And you know what? No matter what, you can figure it out. Did our video satisfy your soul in some way? Thank you a million times over for your help. We appreciate it more than you can imagine. Don't forget to leave us a comment and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. See you later.